So a 10 kilowatt solar power system gives you 10 kilowatts of power, right? Well, not really. So how does this work? Well, in this video, we're going to look at some of the misconceptions about how a solar system is sized and what that means. To do this, we're going to look at four subjects. One is, what's the difference between a kilowatt and a kilowatt hour? And that is also the difference between power and energy. Secondly, how is the size of the solar power system calculated? Thirdly, what does a solar system produce? And fourthly, how do you work out the benefits for you? So what's the difference between a kilowatt and a kilowatt hour? Well, a kilowatt is power. So when you turn on an appliance at home, like an air conditioner or a toaster, it will use a certain amount of kilowatts at a certain point in time. A kilowatt hour is how many kilowatts are used over the course of one hour. So that's the difference between power and energy. Now, why is this important? Well, it's important because when you buy your electricity from your retailer, you're actually buying kilowatt hours. So it's important you understand what a kilowatt hour is versus a kilowatt. So how is the size of a solar system calculated? Well, if you have a look at one of these panels, each of these panels has a wattage rating. So the one we're showing you here is a 425 watt panel. So therefore, 10 of them has a rating of 4.25 kilowatts, and 24 of them would have a rating of 10.2 kilowatts, and so on. But that doesn't mean they will output that amount of power at any given point in time, because that rating is done in a factory in what I'll call a perfect environment, which is 25 degrees Celsius with a fixed amount of light. Now, it's rarely 25 degrees Celsius, and it's rarely going to have that fixed amount of light when it's up on your roof. And then we have other things like some losses through the cables, how far they are away from your meter box, etc., etc. But the reason this number is important is because everyone in the industry is therefore able to use the same number at the same starting point. So what does the solar system produce? Well, let's stick with the 10 kilowatt system for the moment because it's a round number. So a 10 kilowatt system, as I said before, will rarely output 10 kilowatts. In some instances, it may even be more than 10 kilowatts. But because you buy your electricity as energy, in other words, in kilowatt hours, we measure the output of the solar system in kilowatt hours, which is really important. The power at any given point in time is not quite as important as how many kilowatt hours you get over the course of a day, a month, a year, or the system's lifetime. So a 10 kilowatt system, using guidance numbers from the Clean Energy Council, will produce around 35 to 40 kilowatt hours per day on average across the year, depending on where you live. Now it's going to be more than that in summer and it's going to be less than that in winter, more on a sunny day, less on a cloudy day, and so on. And on a partly cloudy day, of course, the output goes up and down with the sunshine. So the 10 kilowatt system will give you about 35 to 40 kilowatt hours per day on average. So how do you calculate the benefit that you'll get from that? Well, using an output of 40 kilowatt hours per day on average across the year, we'll take that 40 kilowatt hours and multiply that by 365. So a standard 10 kilowatt system should deliver around 14,600 kilowatt hours of energy over the course of an average year. And it really is a simple matter of if you use all of that at the time it's generated, which you're unlikely to do, then you would save 14,600 times the amount you're paying for energy. So if you're paying 30 cents per kilowatt hour, you're going to save about $4,400 per year. If it's 40 cents, it's around $5,850 per year. Now, if you don't use any of it, for example, if you close up your house and go away for a year and turn everything off, then you will export all of the power to the grid, and you'd multiply that 14,600 by what you get for your feed-in tariff. Now, if that's five cents per kilowatt hour, you'd get around $750 per year. 
Now the reality is no one is going to use all of their solar power at the time it's generated, nor are they going to export all of their solar power. So you will be somewhere in the middle. And it's simply a matter of working out, on average, where you're likely to be. And that's how you work out the benefit. It's also one of the things we take into account when we help you size your solar system. Now, if you need help in finding the right size system for your roof, either head to our website, which you can find in the description below, or by calling the number on the screen and requesting a callback from one of our experts. Thanks, and we'll see you all soon.